Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Have another shave of the day. Something new, something old. Yeah, let's go with that route. Something is new, but it's old. Haversford. Haverford by Sterling. That lovely tobacco and vanilla scent. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Really smells good. Yeah, I really like this stuff. And when you lather it up, it's got that rich round look to it. And it does smell like uh, tobacco. And it's pipe tobacco that's been aged well and then uh, ready with this stuff in the pipe. It's not cigarette tobacco, but pipe tobacco. And then we're going to be using the Mercor 34C with some Meridian Blades. This is the second use of this one. I just like going through my razors. So far, I've been liking pretty much uh, the Meridian Blades. Work really good in the Star Razor. Seem to do the job. And we'll follow up with a little bit of Ster Sterling's Haverford uh, After Splash. And uh, we'll try the bomb. I never tried their bomb before. Seems to smells like Haverford. There we go. We'll give that a shot here in a second. And uh, yeah, hope everybody's day is going good. So far, mine is no problems. Other than playing with the DMV, that's about it. And it's like you get that. Look at that. Oh, nice, rich lather there. And it smells good. And it has a brown tinge to it because of the. Uh, ooh, where are you going? Uh, oxidized vanilla. It's really strong. Man, that smells good. All right, get this. Ugh. Got some on my tongue. Ugh. Like I feel like uh, the kid on uh, Christmas story sticking a bar of soap in his mouth all of a sudden. Ugh. Well, it seems to be working. You can hear the blade working. Yeah, we'll give her a shot and see how this is. So, how's your day going? For me, it was. It's like, I gotta run down to get some of my tags on my vehicle replaced. Gotta go do it in person. You gotta make an appointment and go in. Used to be able to just walk in and it's like, hey, I'm here. I want to place my tags on my vehicle. And they just say, here's your number. Your number 750 out of 10,000 people. Hey, right. I'm good to go. So, but, you stay around. Put about an hour and a half into the meter and go wait. But now you have to uh, make an appointment. Because there's it's like powers to be. They'll have our county government under lockdown for some reason. I don't understand it. it makes no sense. But I guess it is what it is. It's just one, one layer of inconvenience in life that shouldn't be there. But <clears throat> my uh, son, who's living with us right now, I guess 
he got he had a really bad head cold for the last week or so it was kind of crappy still going to work and everything and he's like well you're you're sick huh it works so they gave him a covid test oh you got covid huh ah, interesting and he's like i don't feel that bad it's just a head cold but no you have to now stay your quarantine from work for five days without pay okay that's gonna go over wonderful but i sort of had a stuff up head for a couple days but about a little couple days after he got sick so it was like i had a bad headache over the weekend and then that was it and it was gone so i may have had the uh, omicron variant that come through who knows if he he got sick my wife was a little under the weather but she just kept on taking and never even thought about it. a bunch of people at work with her are sick and out about half the, she's a teacher, and half of them are, to a third of the building was out sick with it, but. It's kind of interesting. You know, they're making a big deal of this latest version, and what I've heard is like most people are don't even, you know, oh, I just got the, I got a common cold one, and really it's, I guess it's not, but who knows. It really didn't bother me because I got uh, upper respiratory problems with my sinuses. So I take a drying agent that dries out my sinuses. So if I even get a cold and it's supposedly normally make your head stuff up, I'm always taking that two, three times a day anyway. It's like... It just like sucks all the moisture right out of your nose. Like sinuses. The only problem with this is uh, you get a lot of nosebleeds because it dries out your nostrils, upper areas, and next thing you know, it's like you just be doing nothing, all of a sudden your nose will start bleeding. And especially worse when that air dries out in the winter time. Yeah, it's not so bad. Right through here, it's still got a lot of heavy growth, but. Wow. This is good soap. I love the scent of this stuff. Hmm. Smells awesome. I think that's what I said to Sig when I, I got it. Awesome! Thank you. I mean, thank, thank enough to Sig. He's done a lot to help the channel here. And what's interesting is that he won my giveaway. <laughs> I turn around and get win one of his giveaways. I think twice now, I think. That gotten... Uh, something from us like i've actually won a f fair share of my of giveaways from individuals let's just put it that way across the board but you know it's like you watch channels and a lot of individuals opt out of it. they don't do the giveaways because you know it's like you got a ton of stuff for the stuff being given away and it's like i already got that you know it's like me, I don't invest a lot of money into this hobby. I do, I have a lot, but you know, you're looking at three, four years worth of purchases there up on the shelf. It's like I, it's not like I'm buying stuff every week. It's like I might make two orders a year. You know, I'll buy my 
Sometimes it's three. I think last, I think, God, what was it? 2019, I got some Crown and Crane stuff. And 2020, I got Crown and Crane again. And then some Sterling. And then late in 2020, I think, or was it early 2021? I think it was early 21. I got some, uh, call it uh hair and chill because uh jeremy the uh the traveling say shaver he he was a huge fan of the hair and chill stuff and you know, when he made his comments about this and i looked it up and was like oh that's some good stuff so i went and bought some heritage hill I need to get some more. They got a cut. They like two, three more of their soaps. I'm gonna add to the lineup. I really like their stuff. Sterling's great. Eric Crown and Cream is good. So, and I do have oh, 2021. I did get in the spring uh, PAA stuff. You know, they're limited edition, you know, it's like, get it only during the, uh, you know, their the March stuff. I bought that in March. Um, I got one more order of samples. I th yeah, I got some more samples from Sterling and a couple more soaps, and that was it for 2021. Not to mention uh, stuff I got in uh, some giveaways added to the mix. Some of that stuff you can see up there behind me. Like I moved all my brushes over here. I, I, I rearranged, moved some, most of my soaps over here. Still got the PA and my samples are over here. But eventually, I'll probably move everything over in that shelf. Move the splashes over here. Oh, in all reality, it's, you don't need... It's like I'm overloaded with soaps now. really don't need a lot. To be honest with you, the thing I could probably do with more of the splashes. Stuff to made up with the different soaps that I got. So right now this Haverford will look really good. I mean the splashes are about the same price as so I don't use a lot of splash after shave. When I use it, it's like oh, just a little bit, just enough to. And there's some people would take a bath in it, but I don't. So mine does last me a while. Alright, she needs to be, oh there's my spot right there, oh. The Iridium Blade. Seems to be working halfway decently with the Mercur 34C. Well, that oh, looks stupid. Alright, I think we got it. Oh, one spot right there. Well, I'm not 
feel anything smooth. Nice. Ooh, right there, one hair. That was one of the side effects I had over the weekend, along with the headache, was dizzy. I couldn't stand up very quickly or put my head down and it's like, it's like, man, we a bit of woozy. All right, so, what? Man, that is smooth. That's a good, that's a good blade. Work really good with that uh, Mercor 34C. Mm. All right, Haverford Splash. Yeah, like I said, the Splash has a wee bit of scent of alcohol. Yeah, kind of a different scent. It doesn't really quite smell. Hmm. It smells different. It's not the uh, soap smell. You get more of a kind of a powdery note off the soap versus what you get with this. Like I said, it's, I don't know if this is made with um, witch hazel or is it got alcohol? I'm not sure which it is. I'm getting, I'm trying to place it. It's almost a clove, almost a clove scent coming across them getting for some reason. Don't know why, but hey, it's all right. We'll, we'll deal with it. All right. That was Sterling's Haverford. Excellent soap. Smells wonderful to me. Got the nice brown, rich color. Which makes a brown rich soaps uh, ladder. So there you go. And then we have Mercor 34C with Iridium Blades. Great shave. Man, this really just knocked it down. Work, great combination. Works good with it. So it makes me happy with those. So I'm going to be using those. Maybe even thinking about picking up 100 of them just to add to the, to the mix. And we followed up with a little bit of after splash oh we got balm i forgot we got balm let's see how this works Ooh. just a wee bit yeah that's got a clove scent to it kind of a cinnamon clove i'm getting a christmas vibe all of a sudden well that is thick that is That's a very rich, thick uh, balm on that. Okay. All right. Thanks, Sig. I appreciate it. Thank you for the giveaway. Kudos go out to you and for your the way you did it. It was worked really good how you just had the orders through Sterling and had them take care of the shipping for you. All right. Got a little weeper right there. All right. So that was the shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. So hit the old like button. Subscribe. Really appreciate anybody that comes along new and hits the su subscription button. Really appreciate it a lot. So, there you go. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.